going on guys my name is Steven Hammer and if you like belt videos consider subscribing as I try to upload new videos every week or at least every other week talking about wrestling belts scammers eBay places that you can buy wrestling belts WWE shop some bootleg wrestling belts real leather fake leather and everything in between if you like stuff like that consider subscribing in today's video we are talking about a re-leathered belt that I got from Kevin Lambert leather Kevin Lambert does uh, re-leathering services for belt, and what I'm talking about is this. You can buy a standard WWE belt off wweshop.com, and uh, most standard WWE shop belts have all of the screws showing in the back of the belt. They also have a WWE licensed uh, patch on the back of the belt as well. The leather is usually never good. Uh, it is not floppy uh, at all. It kind of just it sticks way out. It is not good at all. It is very stiff. If you want to put it up on a belt book bookshelf, it will stand perfectly fine. No problems, no worries. Um, however, if you want to get a belt re-leathered on real leather, you could get this done on black leather, pink leather, red leather, blue leather. And uh, your re-leather guys can put all of the standard tooling in the belt as well, just like the belts from WWE shop and they will be much more better quality than the WWE replicas because their leather is usually fill, filled with foam, cork, cardboard, stuff like that inside their strap which is why they are not very good at all. So I don't recommend a regular standard WWE stock strap. I recommend getting a belt re-leathered. I might get this one re-leathered one day um, because it really needs it but uh, yeah. This is what we're talking about today is a re leather, but not this belt. This belt is saved for next week, so be on the look for this video. Um, so, as you guys saw in the video clips and the video title, we're talking about the classic WWF block logo intercontinental title that I got back from my friend Kevin Lambert Leather, who re leathered this belt for me. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have this belt back home. Let's get it and see what it looks like. The classic Intercontinental title. In my opinion, this is what I wish the Intercontinental title would have went back to. Um, I love this belt on white leather. I love this belt on black leather. Uh, you just cannot beat this belt um, at all. And to me, this is just one of the most iconic wrestling belts of all time. This and the Winged Eagle and the classic WWF tags are just some of the best belts of all time. In my opinion, because I was a WWF guy. But anyway, this belt uh, has been re-leathered by Kevin Lambert. Earlier this month, Kevin Lambert actually had a flash sale on a re-leather. I think it was like 150 bucks, which is crazy because most re-leathers are like 300 bucks, 400 bucks. So uh, I jumped on that immediately, and it took him about a month or so, I would say. It took him about a month to re-leather this belt, and uh, this belt has went through a few different variations. Uh, the top of this belt is actually squared off the top. You can see it right there next to my eyebrows right here. I had him square it off at the top, like one of the older designs. Because back in the day, this belt used to have a square top, and this of it was a rounded top. I'll put some pictures on the screen right here. So you can see Shawn Michaels back in the day had like the rounded top of the title. But later on in the WWF, Triple H and Owen Hart had the, the square straight leather going across the top of the belt you know and Kevin asked me which style that I wanted on this belt and I was like man give me that straight straight across style because I think it looks beautiful it looks great and uh, from there on out I just said do whatever you got to do and uh, man he absolutely crushed this I absolutely love this belt again oh my god you know, some people ask me, why did I get this belt re-leathered? The leather on it was fine. It was the regular standard Pakistan leather. But one reason I had to get this belt re-leathered was because I put a gold tip on this belt and messed up royally uh, on this belt. So I really wanted to get this belt re-leathered. Like there was a good chunk a hole right here and I messed it up so bad. But anyway, Kevin did this an absolutely just beautiful job. My favorite part about this belt is probably the texture around the uh, property plate. 
the intercontinental plate I will put some pictures up on the screen because you cannot really see it from this point but there is beveling around the property plate and there's this really fine texture behind the plate that I absolutely love and uh, oh my god that little touch on the belt absolutely just went from like a solid 8 to a 10 just like that just one little thing texture behind that property plate oh my god I love that so much so standard clamshell tooling going around the belt and uh, the plates are fight night belts I've had this belt for probably a year or so and uh, I love it and I'm definitely not getting rid of this belt you know it's been through a war you know what I mean I've had this belt with me for for a while and I don't ever want to get rid of it and Kevin just crushed the leather you can see that it just folds down oh absolutely beautiful very soft leather and like I was talking about earlier your WWE straps will have the screws on the back of the belt but when you get a belt re-leathered there will be smooth vinyl backing on the back of the belt super smooth super soft and uh, I love it you know that's what the belt looks like when it just hangs absolutely love this belt folds up easily folds up nice and uh, it's just one of those belts that just will never ever uh, get old to me because I had the old uh, I had the actual foam title of this belt back in the day when I was a little hammy I had the foam title as a kid begged my mom to get that belt for me from WWF magazine and she finally got it for me and now as an adult hammy I have the real belt and uh and nothing just beats a classic in my opinion so I have a few belts re-leathered some of them were re-leathered when I bought them some of them I went out and reached out to re-leatherers myself and got them re-leathered do I recommend getting a belt re-leathered yes I do solid communication with Kevin he always sent me updated pictures letting me know hey I'm about to put snaps on your belt all I have to do now is put backing on your belt I'm shipping your belt out tomorrow like he was letting me know the entire process of this belt and I could not be happier with this belt five out of five stars with me with Kevin Lambert um, I will put his information in the description box below I will tag him in this post and hopefully he will see this on YouTube as well absolutely beautiful job on a beautiful championship and also as well as you guys saw in the beginning of this video when he ships it back to you it was perfectly wrapped up in bubble wrap the belt was very protected and I uh, cannot thank him enough uh, for taking me on as a customer for having that flash sale because I jumped on that immediately because I wanted to get this belt re-leathered uh, because this belt deserves it in my opinion because this is just a classic belt so if you guys have not used Kevin Lambert before I highly recommend him I mean just beautiful leather work clamshell tooling soft leather I mean just quick turnaround time love the leather work and uh, it just brought new life to this belt and uh I couldn't be more happier five out of five stars for me thank you guys so much for watching this video my name is Stephen Hammer if you like about videos please consider subscribing as I try to upload new videos every single week or at least every other week about belts and every other thing in between so yeah that is my review for the Kevin Lambert leather intercontinental title review uh, his specialty is these classic belts so uh, be sure to hit him up at Kevin Lambert leather on Facebook and get a belt re-leathered for yourself uh, especially if you don't like the baby stock straps so highly recommended and uh, that's all I got to say about that thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace